How's it going everyone? What you're going to be seeing here today is some tank gameplay on the end game maps. Uh, I haven't personally played uh, Xbox in over a month now. So, as you might expect, I think this, thinking back too, I think this is the second ever match of Endgame right after it came out. So, right off the bat, you know this is an old gameplay. Uh, but on the topic of old gameplay, uh, the, the new, any footage I put out for the next while will probably be an older gameplay that I've found on my hard drive. I'm, I'm actually running out of material on my hard drive. So, I've been going through it all lately, finding things that I'd find acceptable to hopefully entertain you guys so I've been running through it but I'm running out I don't have a lot of sniping gameplays left I have maybe I think four or five more flawless big tank matches like 20 or matches like that I have some infantry games too but a lot of them have been using uh, M16 or G3A3 or something like that so if you want to see the infantry matches I can find a few and post those for you but yeah, I haven't played Xbox lately at all, so I'm I'm basically running out of gameplays. The reason for that, basically, as you know, is my, my internet's terrible. But mostly because I've been playing on PC lately. So all the PC folks out there, because uh, I've run into at least two or three servers where I've had the server chat pop up, and they're like, "Hey, is that Pick Six from YouTube?" And there's a pretty good chance that it probably was me. Uh, I have been playing on PC lately, but I should clarify, I have been playing on my laptop. Not my PC build, which ideally be coming in at about a month. So in a month or so, hopefully I'll get my real PC running and then I'll be a full-time PC enthusiast. But I have been playing on my laptop. It's actually not bad. Uh, the specs on it are pretty decent. Like for a laptop, it's really good. But as you already know, for a laptop, the GPU and, well, a lot of the other factors running into playing on games just aren't up to par. You can't... It's simple logic. You're not going to be able to run unless you uh, like. You're not going to be able to run high performance games like Battlefield on a laptop anywhere near as good as a PC. That's just a fact. Unless you're willing to pump out, I don't know what, three grand on a laptop, to, a gaming laptop tablet, to, to be able to run it on something like uh, like a PC settings. I'm not sure, uh, but based on that, my laptop is very good for everything, but not gaming. Uh, but playing Battlefield on l the, all the lowest settings possible, I'm able to play it, and I have been lately. The only problem is on like high texture maps or high, uh, like I, I like calling them pretty maps. <laughs> on the prettier maps or the the ones with a lot of textures, a lot of great detail, like especially like this one here in Endgame, it stutters a lot, even on low. It'll run into problems where. Uh, or if it's 64 man servers where there's a lot of action going on, like if you're playing in a 64 meat grinder player metro match, there's a lot of stuttering on it. Uh, so that's a big problem. It gets me killed an awful lot more than what I probably should be dying. Not to mention, you guys already know the story already, my internet's crap. Uh, ideally, I'm looking for a fix on that. Hopefully, I might be able to get an external antenna for my router, and it'll improve signal strength. So, that might be a fix, too. Uh, but in the meantime, I have been playing on my laptop, and the internet issues and the GPU being terrible are big factors as to reason why I've been t pretty bad lately. Uh, if you look up the stats, my KD's like pretty much a 1. Uh, I die a lot more than I probably used to because of the two factors I said. And the other issue, too, is... I'm just not used to it as much as I'd like to admit. Because, uh, well, I used to play PC in the past, uh, before I bought my consoles, because my friends did. Uh, and I was used to the old PC games, but there weren't a lot of inputs to it. There weren't, you know, like Battlefield's pretty intensive on your keyboard. There's quite a few commands on it, especially compared to console. So, and the old games I used to play a lot didn't have anywhere near the amount of its mappings. So it's it's a transition. You're pretty much relearning a lot of games all over again. Plus, I had the several years break in between. So obviously, I'll run them down quickly again. The three factors being basically internet sucking, my laptop kind of sucking, and the fact that I'm not used to it have attributed to the fact that yeah, I'm a very average PC player right now. I've been playing a lot during the week because it's been raining outside, but I'm doing a lot better. Like I've gotten continually better and better as I go. And I feel as long as I continue to warm up on Battlefield 3 with the new PC and with the laptop, ideally when I get Battlefield 4 I'll already be warmed up and ready to go. 
Uh, but yeah, if you've seen me on PC, there's a good chance it probably was me because I've been playing on my laptop. So, yeah. Uh, basically, I can run down the differences quickly. I've been noticing on my week or two of you know big time PC playing versus console. Uh, the main difference, I think, because I've heard all sorts of people say PC's much harder or console's much harder because you have to get used to the, the sticks instead of having a very precise mouse and to be perfectly honest, I can actually see both arguments, but it depends entirely on context. If you're saying PC is more difficult because the quality of players is better, then I think you'd have a point. Because I have noticed that the good players on Xbox, uh, like I consider myself a good one, but the good players on Xbox uh, playing on PC are pretty average. That's my like it, it's hard to gauge it's like that in itself is qu a controversial statement too but like i'll try and explain it better basically the like the player the good players on xbox that you normally go up against would probably be average skill on pc just based on precision of aiming knowing where to be predicting met like situational awareness like most pc players are pretty good like even average players are like the uh, okay put it this way the average pc player is probably a lot better than the average console player that's basically what i'm trying to say like on average most guys at least are pretty good at aiming and they're pretty good at knowing what's around them versus xbox you get in a lot of lobbies and like say four or eight four or six out of the 12 players in the lobbies have no idea what they're doing at all it's the other six that are going to give you trouble versus pc if it was a 24 person lobby, probably 8 to 10 out of the 12 know what they're doing and one or two don't. That's the average I've come across. Maybe it's lower, but that's the average I've come across so far. Uh, but the main difference I've noticed so far, again, factors being that I'm rusty and I'm not really playing on good internet or a laptop right now either, is that everything's so much faster. Uh, when I first started playing on my laptop, uh, like I was getting decimated. Like I was finishing like 10 and 20. 12 and 25 like like 0.5 kds basically speaking uh but the main difference is the speed and i wasn't prepared for it like a lot of times you hear uh, college players transitioning to the nfl they say they're just not ready for the speed of the game that's the transition from pc or from console to pc it's sped up so much more like if if you're turning a corner and you happen to surprise run into an enemy uh, a lot of the time I've been dying because I haven't been prepared for just how fast a lot of those guys turn around on you. So, it, it, it'll come with experience. I already know it will. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the main difference. As I've been playing the last few days, I've noticed my KD skyrocketing up near 2 or 3, close to where it was on console. And I feel it will get better with time. But yeah, once you get used to the speed, it's big. Uh, the average, it's, you can't really classify intelligence either, but... A lot of the time, I, I find a lot of PC players play a lot smarter as well. They won't blindly run around corners. Uh, they'll readily, unfortunately, a lot of the time, use head glitch spots. So that it's hard to hit them, but it's easy to hit you. Um, and the other thing, too, is a lot of the time, you have to play more team-based. In consoles, you could get away a lot of the time running Lone Wolf. I did it all the time. Like, as much as Battlefield is a team game and you should be emphasized on it, I could regularly get in a tank or regularly flank and get behind the enemy and take them out myself. In PC, that's a lot harder to do. It's just it's just because the quantity of players and the fact that most people like to play as a team more. It's it's much harder to play Lone Wolf. Uh, if you, Especially if you're playing in, say, the close quarters maps. If you don't stick with your four-man squad or you don't join up as a group, you'll be cleared out quick. But those are the main differences. The basics, you have to play more as a team, and the speed is much, much faster on PC than I've noticed than it is on console. Uh, but those are the main transition points. Once you get used to the speed of it, I've noticed that it's it's the quality of players isn't really a main factor, because a lot of people say, PC is so much more difficult, but it's just a factor, I think, of them just not being used to the speed. That's about it. Because as I've gotten used to the speed... I've noticed my KD skyrocketing already. My score per minute too. My score per minute on PC is already way higher than it was on Xbox. Part of that, obviously, on Xbox was because when I first got the game, all I did was long-range snipe. Uh, but once, 
you know, once I got it out of my system and I didn't really long range snipe as anymore as much anymore, my my score per minute skyrocketed there too. But it's already over 800 on PC, even though I'm not happy at all with my KD or a lot of my weapon selections. But yeah, to sum up quick on that huge rant there, if you've already listened to this point already. Uh, yeah, I have been playing on PC. I'm going to continue to play on PC. Uh, but my laptop's been awful, so I don't know if I'll be able to join matches with any of you if you request them. But... Ideally, in a month or so, if I get my regular PC up and going and my internet actually responds well with me, then I might be able to actually get subscriber games going for the first time while well, ever. So, yep. That's basically all I had to say. If you guys see me online, it's probably me. If you see me being awful, then hopefully you don't hold it against me as I continue to learn, evolve, and get better equipment as I go. See you later, guys.